Hi kids, it's Adelayla. Happy Sunday! And today we are back with another lesson to learn more about Jesus. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a certain topic. And can you guess what it is? I'm going to give you all a clue. Your clue is hearts. The color red or pink. Um, hugs and kisses. Or even giving somebody flowers. Still can't figure it out? Okay, one more hint, and it's a big hint. The hint is Valentine's Day. Maybe some of you guys have already guessed it, but here's the topic for today. Today, we're going to be talking about... Whoa! The topic, again, is love. First things first. What is love? What do you all think about when you think of the word love? Is love maybe giving somebody a hug? Or is it giving somebody a gift? Or maybe it's even giving mommy and daddy a drawing you made. So kids, what do you think love is? Okay, so I have another question. What is the biggest item or thing you could think of? Whether that be a place, a thing, a toy, food, or anything. Be a huge stack of Lego, or even a big statue or building or maybe it's a dinosaur or even a whale or maybe a mountain okay so i think we could all agree that those things are fairly huge but did you know that god's love for you is much much bigger than that heard that right god's love is bigger than the tallest mountains or the biggest animal god's love is much bigger than any statue or toy you've ever seen God's love is even bigger than the earth itself. Isn't that amazing? And you know what's even cooler? That great, big, and special love God has is for you. And so, since God loves us so much, He wants us to have that same love and share it with others. God actually gave us a good example of that through Jesus Christ. When Jesus walked on earth, He showed that same love to everyone around Him. Jesus' love is so great that He even died on the cross for us even if we didn't deserve it. Now that's true love. Jesus loved God, His family, His friends, His neighbors and peers, and even those people that weren't very nice to Him and considered Him their enemy. So kids, what do we learn from that? Even if someone isn't very nice to you, or even if you don't like them very much, we should still love them. We should still love them the same way Jesus does. Why? Because God loves everyone so much and He wants you to love everyone the same way He does. So kids, what do we learn from all of this? We learn that we have to do everything in love. This way, we can walk in Jesus' footsteps and love others the way He did. We may not always be perfect, but God will be so happy seeing you filled with so much love. And the lesson, did you know that if we look in our Bibles, that God shares with us what love is and what it looks like? So if we open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8, it says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not want what belongs to others. It does not brag. It is not proud. It does not dishonor other people. It does not look out for its own interests. It does not easily become angry does not keep track of other people's wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but it is full of joy when the truth is spoken. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it never gives up. So kids, always remember to love. 